Okay, I wanted to describe for, describe for you the idea of power and how that's used in physics. And we're gonna have two ways that we use that in physics or two formulas that we can use to get to that in physics. Um, and uh, first one is uh, the simple definition. So uh, power generally is gonna be the amount of work that's done per time, right? So power is a, is a measure of how fast you're spending energy. And, and you kind of know a little bit of this already. So let me, so if you're, for instance, you're walking up the stairs versus running up the stairs, right? One's gonna make you more tired, right? So, so there's a way that we describe that. So when you're walking up the stairs, you may have a lower output than when you're running up the stairs, you're going to expend the same amount of energy, but you can do it in much less time. And this is what, what power is measuring. So it's that relationship between, between work and time. So whenever I have three things, I can always graph them, right? So if I was to graph work and time, right? that uh, power is gonna be the rate at those two change. So it's gonna be the slope of that line. If I was to graph power versus time, right? if I had a slope on that, the slope doesn't tell me so much interesting, but um, power times time would tell me about the amount of work. So in this case, the area under the curve is gonna be the amount of work that was done. So, uh, so two two common ways of looking at this. Uh, if we're in calculus, right, we're going to be worrying about a derivative. So, if I'm plotting work versus time, if I have a function or an equation for work, then I can take the derivative of that to get me to power. And if I'm given power and time, then I, I can look at the area under the curve or the integral of uh, of that function to get to the amount of work that was done. So, uh, important thing. So, it doesn't have to be well the first unit. So, uh, so our unit for power is going to be the watt. So sadly, we use W for work and for watt. So in one case, it represents a variable. In the other case, it represents a, uh, a unit. And a watt is going to be a joule per second, right? So energy is always in joules, time is always in seconds. So a watt is a joule per second. So a, um, uh, a couple of things that, that are, are curious about this. So uh, primarily that it doesn't matter that work, well, that energy comes from work. So the, the more general form of power is that it's any sort of change in energy over time. And we'll use this, it can come from work, it can come from a, a change in spring energy, right? So a spring can do work on something to, to accelerate it, or that spring energy can be converted, uh, can be used up at a particular rate. Um, so it really is any change in energy over time. And uh, we usually think about it in terms of work, but it doesn't have to be work. Um, so uh, I could have any of forms of energy. So remember our, our forms of energy that, we, that we've uh, worked, about, worked on so far. So I can go have gravitational potential energy. So I can have a change of potential energy. And remember, I have two ways of doing this. One close to the surface of the Earth, one further away. It could be spring energy. So I could have energy that's stored in the spring. And as I uh, use or um, add energy into that spring, I'll do that at a certain rate. And I can figure that out. And uh, we have kinetic energy that we use, and we're going to add it to a few of these later. So later we'll get into uh, other forms of potential energy and another uh, form of kinetic energy. But uh, for right now, these are the primary ones. Second thing that we, uh, we have another way of thinking about this. So let me think about this. So I'm going to think about work as being force times distance. So if I set my, equal to, set my power equal to force times distance over time, well, uh, this can be force is equal to uh, force times distance over time. And distance over time, right, so we recognize this hopefully as velocity. So we have a second way of thinking about power is that if I have something supplying a constant force at a constant velocity right, that I'm exerting, I am exerting a, uh, and I'm using energy and I'm using an energy at a certain rate, right? So if you're, um, uh, if you're moving your car, you, you're applying a force to overcome, I don't know, friction or wind resistance or drag, and you're maintaining a particular velocity that uh, you multiply those two together and you can figure out the amount of power or the energy that's coming from that. So, um, so power is used for a lot of things. So uh, one of the things I think uh, it's kind of fun to look at. So um, this is some of the... Uh, some places that power can be used. So uh, a supernova at peak power is gonna put out five times 10 to 37 watts. Good grief, that's a lot of zeros. I don't know how many that is. <laughs> so 
uh, the Milky Way galaxy contains uh, or puts out uh, almost that much power uh, as a whole. So that the Crab Nebula pulsar gives out a very large amount of, of energy, 10 to the 28 watts or joules per second. Um, if you go down uh, like a car, can uh, put out eight times 10 to the fourth. So uh, what's that, 80,000 watts or 80,000 joules per second. And your pocket calculator is putting out uh, 10 to the minus three. <laughs> so a fraction of a watt. You've come across watts before, so they're used uh, to describe light bulbs. So we put we think about the energy output of light bulbs in terms of watts. And when we get into electricity, we'll also get into the power output, or sort of the rate that we use electrical energy per second, and that's going to be the watt, which is exactly the same thing, just coming from a different a different uh, storage container for energy. Uh, anyway, uh, as uh, I hope that's helpful, and uh, again, we have two ways of looking at power. So power can be a function of force and velocity, or power can be generally a change in energy over time, and uh, hopefully you're getting comfortable with looking at graphs and being able to figure out uh, what the slope and the area of the curve might be able to tell you and related to the equations that are associated. Power equation is given to you. This one is given to you. Um, this one is not given to you. So you just need to recognize that work can mean any energy. And uh, this one is not given to you. So sometimes it's helpful to recognize and remember that uh, you can also get to power by force times velocity. Hope this is helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye.